in today's video I wanted to cover backing up Windows 10. Um, so there are a few ways to do it. So the primary way would be, I guess, buying some software, some purpose-built software that would back up your machine. I'm sure there are some free options out there as well from, from some third-party companies as well. Um, the method that I'm going to show today is the one that's built right into Windows 10. So if you just go down to your search box, type backup, you'll see backup settings. Um, so here on this uh, Windows 10 computer, I have uh, no backup enabled currently, so I'm going to add a drive to do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my NAS, and I'm going to create a purpose-built um, area of storage for it. Uh, so here in the Storage and Snapshots menu, um, this is on QUTS Hero. Um, I've created a backup Windows 10, so I went Create new shared folder and I just created a shared folder at the size that I wanted uh, for backing up my Windows 10 and I named it so so that I don't accidentally use this folder for other things. I want this dedicated just for backing up the Windows 10 machine. If you're using QTS so uh, you'd go to control panel, you'd go to shared folders and you'd go create a shared folder for the same purpose and you would create a shared folder uh, for, for backing up the Windows 10 machine um, or any other machine that you want to as well. Um, so now I've got the shared folder set up, I've allocated a full terabyte for this purpose. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my Windows 10. Um, so I am using a virtual machine, but it doesn't make any difference. It's just I'm running on a Mac, so I don't have Windows 10. Um, so here, if you go to add a drive, you'll be met with a problem that it says there are no usable drives found. So the way to get around this is you go to the more options uh, section here. You'll see that it's still got nothing here, but you can go see advanced settings. And now you get the options here. No usable drive was found, um, but you can select a network location, which is what we want to do, being that the QNAP is a NAS, it's on the network. So we're going to go select a network drive, and then down here is the button for adding a network location. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to go off and search the network for me and find any NAS that I've got, any other computers as well. So here I'm going to pick the TVS-H1288X. I'm going to select it. So I'm going to go inside it, and then I'm going to select the backup Windows 10 share that I created already. So I'm going to select folder. So that's done now. And I'm going to OK that. So we can see that it's set up now. Now we have an option for turning it on. So I'm going to turn on this backup. Now we've got a green light. So file history is saving copies of my files. There's really nothing in this VM, so my backup's finished already. Uh, so I can come out of this and I can go back to the main screen now and as it refreshes we can now see that it's turned on and in the more options we've got a lot more things uh, than we had before last time we clicked the more options. So now it's all fully populated with what folders it's backing up and it fills this in with a bunch of default important folders. Um, and down at the bottom, if there's a folder that you don't want backing up, you can add those at the bottom as well. So if you don't want to back up a specific folder, uh, you can choose to do that. If it hasn't picked up all your folders, you can add a folder and uh, change it around as well. So you've got different options here, backing up my files every hour, keep my backups forever. You can change those rules around. And in the advanced settings, uh, you've got your main uh, option that we saw earlier. So there's a lot of different options in here in the advanced. You can choose every hour, you can change it to whatever you want, how, how many copies are saved, you can choose how long it's saving them for, um, and you can clean up versions as well. So if the backups are taking up too much space, you can clean it up a bit so that you can use less space on your backup drive. Um, so how this looks on your uh, NAS is generally you'll get a user account, so I'll just open up File Station to navigate to the folder. Uh, there'll be a folder created that matches the user account. So in my user account on my copy of Windows 10, it was just Craig. So in Craig, I've got a couple of folders, uh, Craig Windows 10, configuration, and data. So that's all your data basically backed up. And you can browse through this logically if you want to. So if you go in data, you've got your C drive. I've only got a C drive enabled on mine. The users and then the users Craig folder will be in there. So it's very easy to navigate through to recover a single file if you want. Or you can simply just go do that within the Windows 10 uh, instance as well. So if there's ever a, a, a file that you've deleted, you can go restore personal files and go browse to the file that you've accidentally deleted and, and put that file back if you need to. Um, okay, so that's how to back up Windows 10 uh, using the built-in uh, file history function, the backup function within Windows 10. Um, it's completely free. It's very easy to set up. Uh, you just have to know to go browse to the network location to be able to, uh, to, to back up to the QNAP.
And if anybody has any questions on this, please do let us know. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, then please do like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or you want to get in contact with Craig or any of the team, then we do have a dedicated YouTube email address and you can find us there on YouTube underscore UK at QNAP.com. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.